Bismillah Rahman Yohim. Today we are going to start Holy Quran also, and today we will start from page number six on PDF Surah Fatiha, first surah of the Holy Quran. <coughs> Bismillah Rahman Yohim. Bis in Bismi. This is a uh, this is this word is made by Johnny. Arfijar ba kasra b and the word ism. Ism mean name. Ism mean name. And b is a arfijar. So with the name of. So bismi mean with the name. Or in the name you, we can also say. Allahi. So bismillahi in the name of Allah. With the name of Allah. Now they have used ar Rahman. Allah have used here Ar Rahman. So Ar Rahman, the word is Rahman, and uh, with it we have uh, with it Al is used. So whenever we use Al with a quality, it means that this uh, no one this this has the, the most of this quality. No one can exceed the Rahman quality of Allah. So Allah is most Rahman. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, which is most <coughs> sorry, sorry for that. Just so Ar Rahman means the most gracious, and then again Rahim, the most merciful. So Bismillah Rahman Rahim mean in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Then in the second, in the first verse of the surah is the word is alhamdu again the hamd is mean praise and al when we added al with the hamd it will become all praise all praise then lillahi here the actual word is allah and uh, with it our figure li is joined it becomes lillahi so alhamdulillahi lillahi mean for allah lillahi for Allah, Alhamdulillah, all praises for Allah. Then, Rabb, Rabb means Lord, Al Alamin, Lord of all universe, you are Lord of all universe. Now, we will note another thing here. Here, they did not use Alamin, Alamin mean uh, two universe or uh, to universe but they have used uh, Allah has used here Alamin which has mean all universes we don't know the exact amount of universes galaxies present in the sky we have not seen anything yet, yet clearly we don't know very much about universe and the, here Allah has told that Alamin uh, all praises for Allah who is the Lord of all everything whole universe <coughs> Then, next words, Ar Rahman Nirrahim, the most gracious, the most merciful. You already know the meaning of these two words. <coughs> then, Maliki, Maliki, Maliki means honor, honor, Jaum means day, Adin, judgment, Adini, judgment. Honor of the day of judgment. Maliki. So Allah is the honor of the day of judgment. Iyaka. Iyaka mean only you. You already learned the zameer of ka fataka. Ka when we when we call someone, when we talk to someone, we say ka. Iyaka only you. Naabudu we worship. So the word is actually Ya Budu. We have added Noon Fatana, it becomes We. A meaning of Noon Fatana is We. Na Budu, We worship. We worship only you. Iya Ka Na Budu, We worship only you. Wa mean and. Iya Ka Na Budu, Wa. We worship only you and. Iya Ka, only you. Iya mean only you Nasta'een Again Na is used for Noon Fatana is used for we 
So, nasta'inu, we ask help. Nasta'inu, we ask help. So, this was also told us that Muslims only ask help from Allah. They don't ask help from anyone else. Okay? So, iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in. We ask help only. We ask help, uh, we only worship you and we only ask help from you. This is the meaning of this verse. Then, Ehdina. Ehdina, Ehdi mean guide. Ehdi mean guide. And Noon Fata Alifna mean us. Ehdina, guide us. Show us. Guide us, show us. Asirat. Asirat mean path. Asirat mean path. Al Mustaqim straight path. Al Mustaqim straight path. So here Muslims are saying, Ehdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Guide us to the straight path. Guide us to the straight path. When we know our destination, we move directly toward our destination in a straight path. But when we don't know this, our destination, sometimes we look at this place, sometimes we went to the other place. We are not sure about our destination. So, <clears throat> Muslim, now what will happen after this life? That's why they follow a straight path, and that straight path is the path of Quran and Hadith. So here, Muslims are praying, "Eh, din asirat al mustaqim, Allah guide us to the straight path." And this straight path is the path of Quran and Hadith. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now. In the next word, Sirat al Mustaqim, uh, 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 there is the definition of Sirat al Mustaqim. So, Sirat al Lazina an Amta alayhim. Sirat, path al Lazina, path of the people an Amta. An Am, you blessed, or you should give mercy, or you show your, you shower your blessing on them alayhim on them path of those on those you are bestowed your blessing the path of those on you which you bestowed your blessings ghairil magdubi nut of those ghairi nut of those alayhim ghairi alayhim mean nut of those magdubi on which you uh, you become angry that the path of those on which you became angry, waladalin, <coughs> not those who lost their way, waladalin, not those who lost their way. So magdubi mean those people who knew that Islam is a correct religion, like the Jews of the time of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who now knew that the Prophet is the last and final messenger, still they don't embrace Islam. And Dalin means those people who think that they are on the right path, but actually they are on the path of evil. <coughs> so Dalin means those people. May Allah protect us from the both these categories of people. Yeah. Amen. Okay, now do you have any question from this? No. Okay. So you already memorized this surah, but uh, now try to memorize this uh, with the, the verses number. For example, you will say verse number one, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Then you will say second verse, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Then you will say third verse, Maliki Yomidin. Try to memorize like this, okay? Okay. And also, next time you will, <coughs> uh, after um, setting the surah like with verse number, then you will recite this surah with meanings. For example, you will say Alhamdu, all praise, Lillahi for Allah, Rabbi, Lord, Al Alamin of all universes. Like this, you will uh, read. Okay. Okay. How much time do you uh, need to prepare this? 
Okay, good. One day is enough. <clears throat> okay, another thing on this page that you, you see that all uh, elf words are written with black ink, but some words are written with green ink. Do you know the meaning of this? No, I don't know. Okay, these green uh, uh, alphabets are pronounced with bold voice, with uh, heavy voice. Okay, so try to. Uh, make your voice bold when you read these words read these words okay great words okay so next time you will uh, read this okay